first law of intimacy with the Holy Spirit is not asking him to come the first law of intimacy with the Holy Spirit is not even prayer it is not fasting the first law is an acknowledgement you have to study the nature of man and the imperfections the plethora of limitations that reside within this species called man then it will make you need God and the only way God can make that happen is to be patient with you he will not rush his presence to your life he will not appreciate the value of his presence so he will usually because man as a species is proud he will allow you to exhaust your connections exhaust your wisdom exhaust your intellect that is why you will see things that should be but it's not because there is a dimension of results that is controlled from the realm of the spirit in fact it is the foundation of all results through faith we understand Hebrews 11 and verse 3 that the worlds were framed by the word of God is that true that that which now appears came from a realm that was unseen sufficient musicians so you will have physically speaking all the things that by the physical uh, requirement should produce for results yet you will marvel and wonder i have told you that there are times you can have a boat there are times you can be at sea that's where fish should be there are times your net can be working and yet you will not catch fish it is not lack of skill it is not lack of diligence there are times all the variables are correct and yet you not to throw away the things we know, but to come to a point where we realize that except God has a man, there is limitation, there is imperfection. Except God helps a preacher, you can do everything you know to do and you will be surprised that it will not work. Are we together? Proverbs chapter 3, when you begin to read from verse 5, he said, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. He says, the next verse says, In all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. The next verse is a warning. He says, Be not wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and turn away from evil. Every time you see champions in this kingdom, they were not self-made. 